Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the SDK uh, on your Galaxy Nexus. This is required for um, communicating between the PC and your Galaxy Nexus uh, to do ADB commands. That's for like pushing super user to the phone or if you wanted to push a custom recovery to replace a stock recovery to your phone. Uh, you can do that through ADB, but you've got to have the SDK installed. Also, another big important part of the uh, having the SDK installed, why we needed it, so that we can restore our phone back to factory settings. I'll show you guys that in another video, uh, but for now we're just going to set up the SDK. I know uh, a lot of you guys are maybe not real familiar with that, so we'll do that. Head to the link in the description, and it'll bring you to uh, a written guide here. And you can follow this if, if you get lost or anything in this guide. Just follow the written guide here. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you have this Java development kit installed. So just click on that link. And <clears throat> you'll click this download button here. And then go to Windows. And if you're on 32-bit Windows, you'll install the by 86 If you're on 64-bit Windows, you'll install the 64 so just click there, it'll download the EXE, start the EXE, and it will uh, guide you through the process of installing uh, the JDK. Once you're finished with that, go back to the guide here. Make sure you download this Android SDK. It'll bring you to this page. What you want is the .zip. So when you download that, that will bring you to, uh, you'll have your, your Android SDK. It'll be in zip format. Just right click on that and extract files, uh, extract files to the C drive. And I already have it there, so I'm going to say no. I, I don't want to, or cancel, I'll just cancel it there. Okay, so once you have that in your C drive, you're going to open up the Android SDK folder. So go to C drive, computer, and C drive. And it's right there, Android SDK Windows. And you're going to open up the uh, SDK Manager. Let's see, where did it go? Okay. So you'll open up the SDK Manager. And there's some things that you need to install. And I already have them installed here, but there will be a whole list of things uh, that need to be installed. It's populating right there. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have the Android SDK platform tools installed. And you'll need the Android SDK tools installed. And the other big thing you want to have installed is the Google USB driver package. So make sure that all of those are selected and then you'll click install. And that will take a little while to install there. Um, probably will take, for me it took about 15 or 20 minutes. So you'll install that. I already have it installed on my computer. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of that. So on Windows, once that's all installed, you'll go to System, well, Control Panel, and then System. And then you'll go to Advanced System Settings. And then you will go to, let's see, you'll go to this Environment Variables. Okay, down here you'll go down to Path and Edit. At the very end of this, you want to add the path for your SDK tools. So you're, at the very end, it doesn't matter what it says there at the end, you're going to put a semicolon and C drive, Android SDK, Windows, platform tools. You want to add that one there. So if you go back to the guide here, you'll see it right here. You'll just copy and paste this right here. Just copy and paste that right there at the end. And select OK when you're done. And then OK again, and OK. And then you're going to want to download this uh, modified driver INF file. So just go ahead and download that and then unzip it. 
And you're going to want to go back to the C drive in the Android SDK. You want to go to Extras. It, it wasn't there for me, so I had to just build that folder. So Extras, and then I built the Google folder, the USB driver folder, and I put that uh, USB driver right there. Okay, so once you have all this set up here and it's all installed, it's going to take you about 30 minutes to get it all together uh, because it takes a while for everything to download and install. But once you get it all set up, uh, you should be able to close out of all of this. And you should be able just to plug the USB cable into the computer and then into your phone. Make sure USB debugging on the phone is turned on. So on the phone, you go to settings and development. Where is it at? Developer options. Make sure down here that or up top USB debugging is selected. And then you go ahead and plug that in. So once that's plugged in, you go down here and type in in the search bar, type in CMD, and that's going to bring up the command prompt. And then you're just going to type ADB space devices. If anything, if anything shows up here, then that means that the SDK has installed correctly. So at that point, you would be done. Uh, you now have your SDK set up and your ADB set up, and you can do things like root the phone, unlock the bootloader. Uh, you can restore to factory settings and uh, flash a custom ROM through your custom recovery. Guys, thanks for watching. Check out droidmoderx.com for all the latest new and news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android phone. You can follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel. I've got a lot of Galaxy Nexus um, coverage coming your way. Thanks, guys.